Hi there and welcome to the channel. So today what I want to do is take you back out to West Park Estates which is a brand new community that's being developed by Richmond American Homes because I have some brand new fresh hot off the press information that I want to share with you. Now if that's the kind of information you're looking for well then stick around because we're getting started right now. Hi there and welcome back. My name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. So back last October of last year, um, I put out a coming soon video on this community and uh, told you that it's a community to kind of keep your eyes on uh, for 2022. And if you happen to miss that video, well you can go ahead and check it out right up here. Now as a reminder, West Park Estates, again this is being developed by Richmond American Homes, sits on the north side of Ocotillo Road, about halfway between Sossaman and Haas Roads. Manzel Carter Oasis Park is located just directly to the north of this neighborhood. In fact, a quick side note, uh, Oasis Park's original name was supposed to have been West Park. Therefore, when Richmond American proposed this uh, project, West Park Estates was kind of, you know, the appropriate name for it. Well, obviously the park's name changed, but Richmond apparently stuck with West Park Estates. I don't know, but I'm guessing maybe Manziel Carter Oasis Park Estates just didn't really flow or roll off the tongue as easily as West Park Estates does. Anyway, after months and months of delays, West Park Estates is finally open for business and pre-sales have begun. In fact, as of this recording, here's a quick look at the two model homes that are on site. Yep, no models yet, but they have been started and they'll be available a little later this year. But like I said a moment ago, pre-sales have already begun. They started last week and they've actually sold some lots thus far. But if you hurry, you could still be one of the very first people to get in and purchase a home in this community. Now in that previous video, I told you that there'd be seven different floor plans here, but it looks like they have dropped that down to six because the Deacon model was no longer in the lineup. So base pricing is gonna start out in the mid 700s and go up from there. And these homes will range in size from 2,510 square feet up to nearly 3,200 square feet. And each one of them is gonna be a single story home. Plus two of the homes actually have an included RV garage. So then let me give you just kind of a quick rundown on each one of the floor plans. First is the Dominic and depending on how you configure it, this floor plan actually ranges from 2,510 up to 2,760 square feet. It can have three or four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and it can have a three or a four car garage. Next is the Cassandra. This home is 2,500 square feet. And again, it can have three or four bedrooms. It can have between two and a half and three and a half bathrooms and a two or three car garage. Now next in line is the Darius. Now this home comes in at 2,840 square feet. It comes with four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a three car garage. Batting fourth in the lineup, we have the Julia. This home is actually gonna be one of the models here on site. It ranges in size between 2,730 and 2,920 square feet, depending again on how you configure it. It has three or four bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, and it comes with a three car garage. After that, we have the Hanson, and this home is 2,580 square feet, and it has three or four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, and you can have a three or four car garage, plus this is the first home in this series that comes with an attached included RV garage. And batting cleanup is the Harley, and this one is probably my favorite of all of them. Not because I particularly like the floor plan, I do, but as a longtime Harley Davidson rider, I think I just kind of like the name. So the Harley, like all of the others, has various options. So it actually ranges in size from 2,740 all the way up to 3,190 square feet. 
Now, this home can be configured to have between three and five bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, a three or four car garage, and it's the other home in this uh, lineup that actually comes with the included attached RV garage. Now, before we move on, if this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I do really appreciate it. And if you've been here before, well, I just wanna welcome you back. Now, if you like what you see and hear here, if you could go ahead and give me a like or a thumbs up, that just lets me know that the content I'm putting out is useful and informative to you. And while you're at it, if you could hit that subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you'll always be up to date on the latest videos as they come out, which I try to do about once a week. Now, there are some things that you should probably be aware of as it comes to this community. Sitting on 51 acres of land here, there's 120 individual home sites and the lot sizes range from 7,475 square feet to over 36,000 square feet. The residents here will enjoy amenities such as ramadas and playgrounds and open spaces, not to mention the fact you've got Manzel Carter Oasis Park right here in your backyard. Now most of these lots will come with a lot premium and those are ranging from $5,000 all the way up to $70,000 depending on the size and the location of the lot but I would expect the average lot premiums to be in the five dollars to $6,000 range. You should plan on about a 10 or 11 month build time and the HOA fees here will be $116 a month. Now as for an earnest deposit they are currently requiring 2% of the base price of the home, and that's due at contract signing. But the good news is, if you use their preferred lender, they will give you back an incentive equaling 3% of the base price, and that's to be used towards your closing costs. All right, so let's address the two burning questions. One is, how do I get a lot? And two is probably, <laughs> how much do these things cost? If you've seen any of my other videos, you probably have noticed that every builder just kind of tends to do things differently. So if you're not already working with a realtor, then go ahead and give me a call or a text or an email and we'll get together and I'll explain to you in detail what they're doing here. But this much I can tell you, the sooner you get in on a new build community, the better because those prices, they're only gonna go up with each new lot release. Now, if you are working with a realtor or you think you will be, your agent must accompany you on your uh, first visit to the community. In this case, that would be the pre-sales meeting. But if you're watching this video sometime down the road and the models are open, then it'll be on your first visit to the models. If they don't accompany you, there's a good chance they're not going to be allowed to assist you throughout the transaction. Now you will be working with a sales rep and they'll facilitate the process and they'll get all the paperwork done. And they do have a duty to treat you fairly and to be honest with you but it's really unlikely that they'll be your true advocate because again they're employed by the builder and they don't have a fiduciary responsibility to look out for your best interests but if you have an agent representing you that agent does have a duty to look out for your interests and that's why it's so important, at least in my opinion, that you have a realtor representing you in this new build transaction process. Now, if you wanna know more, check out this video right up here. Now, I'm getting calls and emails every week from people just like you who see these videos and they want more information on all of the new communities that are going up in the Queen Creek and Santan Valley area. And I gotta tell you, first of all, thank you so much for reaching out. I I really do appreciate it. Number two, it's been so much fun talking with you, uh, getting to know you, and in many cases, working with you and helping you get into that brand new home. Now, if you're thinking about building a new home and you think that you and I might make a good fit, well, then I invite you to call, text, email me like today, like right now. And we'll get together and get an appointment where you and I can both go over and visit Gina at the sales office and get you into one of these new Richmond American homes. Again, my name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek, Arizona. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next video.